Hello guys and welcome to Freebird Screw and welcome to 75 day hard generative AI learning challenge and this is day 22 and in this video I will tell you how to fine tune the Meta's LLAMA large language model with the help of QLORA fine tuning technique. So let's get started and here is my Kegel notebook because I use it because it has the GPUs there to uh, make your large language model fine tuning with ease. Okay, so here it is my LLAMA2 large language model and I use the 7 billion parameter large language model because it is small as well and it is easy to fine tune on my Kaggle notebooks. Okay, okay. So very first thing is I need to install the very necessary libraries here. The first is the data sets library that is used to download the data set on which I want to fine tune my large language model and then I have to install some other necessary Libraries as well, like the Accelerate, Peft, Bits and Bind, Transformers, and the TRL library as well. So, the Accelerate library is actually useful to do the distributed training of the large language model. Okay. And then the PEFT library is used to fine tune our large language model on the QLORA technique because it has all the necessary attributes and functions for the QLORA and LORA adapters as well. And then we have the Bits and Bytes library that that is used that how you want to to get your pre-trained large language model in which format you want in the quantized format or you want as a raw format as well so this will decide that and we have the transformers library as well that helps you to get your large language model from the hugging face repository as you can see here it is already present in the hugging face repository and then we have the TRL library that is actually used how you want to train or fine tune your large language model on the base of human feedback or reward basis as well or reinforcement learning as well. So they, this will do that. Okay. Now you understand about all the libraries. Now we uh, import all the libraries here and the, with the help of tokenizer, training arguments, pipeline, logging and everything we have. Okay. A uh, very first thing is to uh, which large language model we want to import. We want to import the LLAMA2 7 billion parameter chatting large language model. So we name of the large language model is here. And then we need what kind of uh, data we want. We want a Guanaco data because Guanaco data is a multilingual data set. If you just see here, it has the chats or chats are like uh, uh, conversations in very very vast different kind of languages in the French, Japanese, English and many more as well. So this data set will actually be helpful in uh, checking the uh, accuracy or checking the precision or checking the power of your large language model that how accurately it will be able to uh, generate text or understand this different different vast languages. Okay, so we use that and this is the name that we are giving to our uh, final uh, fine-tuned large language model. Okay, the very first thing is to load the data. Then we have this uh, load data set function and we just on only need the training part of this data set and I can show you that th this is how the very first instruction looks like. If I just show you the first instruction here, it just like like that. Okay, so the very first instruction is look like that. You can see it is in very different languages there. Okay, so in that way, your large language model is going to fine tune and understand all these different languages, context and syntaxes as well. Okay, and for to do the fine tuning, I use the 4-bit quantization configuration. Because 4-bit quantization by using the QLORA fine tuning technique helps your large language model to be able to fine tune on the consumer's hardware. Because as you see, I have only this kind of configurations only. I have a GPU memory of 15 GB and along with CPU memory of 29 GB. Okay, so on this kind of small configurations, I am going to fine tune this big LLAMA 7 billion parameter large language model. So with the help of 4 bit quantization, I can easily do that. Okay, because uh, the QLORA quantizes a pre-trained large language model to the 4 bits and freezes all the parameters. So what this line means, it lines means like when we have the uh, pre-trained large language models, it has their parameters or it has their weights 
in the 32 bit representation or the 16 bit representation like that okay but if if we just uh, decrease the precision of those uh, weights then we can get the uh, 4 bit quantization or 4 4 bit representation as well and by using the 4 bit representation we can easily store these kind of weights or these kind of large language model into our system's normal memory as well and a small number of low rank trainable adapter layers are added to the model so that our model will only be fine tuned with the help of these low rank adapter layer only okay so when we are doing the fine tuning we follow the process of back propagation and this back propagation only be done by using this 4 bit transformer or the 4 bit a quantized model only with the help of low rank adapter layers okay so in that way your model performance does not going to hurt but yeah there is a like slight decrease in the precision because as you just see here we just decrease the precision from the 32 bit representation to the 4 bit representation so there is a slight loss of precision but your model performance will not going to hurt that much okay okay so i hope you completely understand the concept of 4 bit quantization with the help of qlora fine tuning technique okay so then i just uh, build my configuration to for how i want my large language model to be loaded in this notebook i just set it it is it should be loaded in the form of 4 bit quantized form okay so that's why i set it true that means i want my large language model to be in the quantized format okay then i set all other parameters as well this is the nf means normal float of the 4 bit representation and then i just build this whole configuration here and then i put this configuration when i am trying to load my pre-trained large language model and here is the configuration and here is my model and it will load or download all that large language model into your kegel notebook okay so now you guys completely understand that what i do from the start until this step if you guys have any question you can put it in the comment section i will surely answer that okay guys okay now our next step is to load the tokenizer because in every kind of NL nlp task to do the process of tokenization is necessary so we'll need the tokenization here and i also repeat the same step which i repeated in the last video i just make my padded token is equal to the end of sentence token so whichever is the end of sentence token it is now the padding token as well okay okay now i just set up my parameter efficient fine tuning parameters or the configurations as well of the lora configuration i set up the scaling parameter here and i set up the dropout parameter the r that is uh, what is the dimensions of those weights update matrices and i also set up the task type it is a casual language modeling task like text generation or uh, uh, chatting applications like that okay so i set up all my this lora configurations as well and if you want to know more that how this uh, lora configurations and qlora uh, configurations work you can watch my day 20 video i will put the link in the description or in the i button as well okay guys okay now i just build my training parameters here with the help of training argument functions i set up the output directory number of trainable epoches along with the batch size gradient accumulation optimizer save step everything i just load down in here okay and i make it so efficient or so small so that it can be easily trained on my this configuration only okay so that's why i use this small kind of uh, training steps or the epoches as well because if i just increase the size it will not be able to train on my kegel notebooks okay then i just uh, fine tune my model with the help of sft fine tuning and i already told you i uh, import the trl library because it helps us to uh, build a sft fine trainer function that will help you to train your large language model by using the reinforcement learning and then reward modeling or the proximal policy optimization kind of techniques as well okay so that's why we just put all the information like our model our data our parameters and our uh, training arguments our tokenizer here in the form of this function and then we just call out this uh, trainer.train function here and when i 
click on the trainer dot train it getting started to train and this training will take around like a uh, uh, 1.5 hours okay because we have a very big data set as well and we have a very large model as well so when this model is going to train then it will store as with the help of new model name and with the help of new model name you can easily load it and ask it your questions on the base of the text generation as i just ask here that who is leonardo da vinci so it just answer me in the form of very beautiful text here with the complete details as well and in a very uh, optimized way and i added the max length of 200 so it f follows that parameter as well okay and the next co question is this and we have everything trained here oh guys okay so i hope you guys completely understand that how i fine tune this llam large language model with the help of qlora fine tuning technique and the guanaco dataset as well and if you want to know more about the uh, this uh, uh, meta llam2 large language model or our guanaco dataset you can check out these links i will put these links in the video description as well and in our next video i will explain about how to fine tune the microsoft fi2 large language model with the help of qlora on sentiment analysis task i use this kind of sentiment analysis for financial news dataset as well and then we'll use this dataset to fine tune our microsoft fi2 large language model so that it can be easily able to uh, predict the sentiment of a news or economic factor okay so if you guys want to know more about prompt engineering or data science or machine learning you can watch my videos on youtube and also read my blogs on medium we'll meet in our next video thank guys thank you so much